Hi, I'm Kyle, and today I wanted to make a quick tutorial on how to de-squeeze anamorphic footage in Adobe Premiere 2017. I recently picked up an SLR Magic Anamorphit 1.3340 compact adapter, and I uh, shot some footage here on an A7S uh, with the Anamorphit adapter attached to an SLR Magic 50mm Cine 1.1 lens. So to get started, I have to create a new sequence. Uh, and I have to make a custom sequence. I'm going to switch my editing mode to custom. Uh, I shot this at 23.976 frames per second, and it was shot as Ultra HD frame size. So typically, that is 3840 by 2160. But I want to stretch out the horizontal uh, 1.33 times. So I'm going to take a 3 eight four zero times one point three three that's fifty one oh seven point two I'm going to round down and change this to fifty one oh seven uh, square pixels is great and I'm going to switch my video previews over to QuickTime and Apple ProRes uh, I'm also going to change this to fifty one Seven, and that should automatically change to 2160. Great. I'll turn on maximum bit depth and maximum render quality as well. Okay. So now I have a new timeline and a new frame that is uh, nice and wide. I'm going to drop in my footage and it will ask me if I want to change my sequence settings. Now, uh, I do not want to change my sequence settings. I just spent a fair amount of time setting up this sequence. I'm going to keep existing settings. So now I have my footage in the wide timeline frame and I need to de-squeeze it here. Now there's a couple of ways to do this. I could secondary click the clip in the media browser and select modify interpret footage and switch the pixel aspect ratio to HD anamorphic 1.333. But the anamorphic adapter is only 1.33. This is actually squeezing it a little bit beyond the edge of the frame. So let me change that back, modify, interpret footage, and back to square pixels. The way I like to change my footage is actually with the effect controls. So I'm going to double click the footage in the timeline, select effect controls, and I'm going to adjust scale, but I'm going to uh, make it no longer uniform. So my scale width, I'm going to change to 133. And now it's squeezed the footage out and it perfectly fits the timeline frame. Uh, from here, I can continue editing, dropping in more clips and adjusting their effect controls. I could uh, copy the uh, clip and paste its attributes onto other clips and that would be great. Um, and then when I'm done editing and it's time to export, there is something I need to do so I can maintain this large frame size. So if I go export media, typically I export H.264 for the web, but H.264 caps out at a width of 4096 pixels. And it adjusts the height appropriately, and so it's still wide, but it's, it's not the 5K size that I started out with. Um, and since H.264 doesn't match. I will need to switch to QuickTime and make manual adjustments down here at the bottom. Now my video codec, uh, Apple ProRes 422 Proxy works great for most website uploading. YouTube and Vimeo accept Apple ProRes. Proxy looks great and keeps a decently small file size. Uh, and again, I need to type in my frame size, uh, 5107 and 2160. Uh, my pixel aspect, I want to make sure it's still on square pixels and my field order is progressive. Uh, I can also adjust my audio. Uncompressed is great, uh, but just for the web, AAC at a 320 kilobits per second works great too. Uh, I can choose where my file gets saved and I can turn on maximum render quality. 
uh, I don't have any previews, but I could turn on previews if I had rendered something out. Uh, and then I can export or queue. That's how to de-squeeze and export anamorphic footage in Adobe Premiere 2017. If you have any questions, leave me a comment, and I'll see you next time.